So this is day three for the X at home workout program for week two. The first exercise that we're gonna do is a get up. If you've ever heard of a Turkish get up before, this is the exact same thing. I just don't know of another get up, so I just call it a get up. So I'm gonna show you with my right side being the working side, and I'm using just a golf ball. Again, you can use a tennis ball. I recommend you go body weight just for this. Uh, if you wanna try a gallon, and if you do this a couple more times and you find it to be a little bit easy, then use the gallon, but this really isn't about weight, this is more about the movement itself. So again, my right side is gonna be the working side, which means my left leg is gonna be extended out. My right leg is gonna be bent with my foot flat on the ground, my right fist up into the sky with a ball in it, really squeezing it, and my left arm extended out to the side. So, first movement is pretend like you're punching up to the sky, and you're going to sit up and get onto your left elbow, and then you're going to extend your left arm to get up onto your left hand, and then with your right leg, you're going to glute bridge up, and then come back down. And then you're going to come back down onto your left elbow, and then come back all the way down. So it's all gonna look like this. Punch up, get up onto your left hand, and then glute bridge up. And then come back down onto my left elbow, all the way back down and you're gonna do two of those aside. So the second exercise is a forward slash reverse lunge combo. So we did the reverse lunge uh, during day one, right? So the reverse lunge we know how to do. Our right leg is gonna go back and touch the ground. And then the forward lunge is going to, our right leg is going to come forward. So in this instance, when we do the forward lunge and our right leg comes forward, our right leg is the working leg. But when our right leg goes back, our left leg is the working leg. So it can get a little confusing with when I say do 10 per side or 5 per side. But I like to do it just whatever leg is working, that's the side you keep track of. So one rep looks like this. One reverse lunge, one forward lunge, that's one rep. All right? So the forward lunge, what I want you to think about, don't step too far forward. That's really the only thing to be concerned with. Everything is very similar to the reverse lunge where it's push through your heel and push back. You're gonna feel a little bit more in your quads and that's about the only difference. So the third thing that we're gonna do is a pop-up push-up. So a pop-up push-up, come back over to the mat here. So like with all the push-ups like I've been saying is wrist directly under our shoulders, right? So everything's gonna be in line. The only difference is when we get to the bottom, we're actually gonna get and touch our chest all the way, and we're gonna lift our palms up and then pop up. So the things to be concerned about with this, when you get to the bottom, I want you to pinch that grape in between your shoulder blades when you lift your palms up off the ground, and then when you come to pop up, a lot of people have the tendency to, you know, kind of do a seal push up because it's weird when you go into that high amount of tension just right off the bat. So you gotta really keep your core and your butt tight while you're going through and while you're gonna come back up. So you go down, keep your core and your butt tight, palms are off, and then pop up. So you keep everything back in one line. And then the fourth thing that we're gonna do is a hollow body hold. So, similar to that dead bug position, arms fully extended out, our arms just above our head fully extended, and we're gonna keep our low back nice and flat, feel it in our low abs. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Again, if you wanna make it harder, legs come down. If you wanna make it easier, legs and arms come up. So that's day three, swipe over for the challenge.